A cold wind blew through a gathering of people. Men and women, black and white, free and slaves, stood together and listened as the Emancipation Proclamation was read. It announced a shift in the legal identity of slaves held in Confederate states. From that day on, the United States government declared these men and women to be permanently free. As the gathering cheered, Frederick Douglass took the stage and led the gathering in singing his favorite hymn, Charles Wesley's Blow Ye the Trumpet Blow. Blow ye the trumpet blow, the gladly solemn sound, let all the nations know to the earth's remotest bound. Jesus, our great high priest, hath full atonement made. You weary spirits rest. You mournful souls be glad. You slaves of sin and hell, your liberty receive and safe in Jesus dwell and blessed in Jesus live. The year of Jubilee is come. The year of Jubilee is come. Return ye your ransomed sinners home. To anyone who heard Lincoln's proclamation and then listened to Wesley's hymn, the concept of the year of Jubilee and the new wave of freedom must have hit close to home. Frederick Douglass' joining of this historic event with the atoning work of Jesus Christ revealed in the connection between God's redemption of human nature from the slavery to sin and the release of the people of color from social, political, and economic bondage and the evil institution of slavery. For both were dehumanizing, marring the very image of God that stamped into every human being. Christ came to restore our very humanity, to remake human nature itself and emancipate us from its corruption. But that most essential and fundamental liberation from a corruption at the core of our being was to lead us to bear witness in all our relationships, personal and public, social and economic, to that liberating work which revitalizes our very humanity. And while thankfully, None of us live under the horrific conditions of pre-Civil War slavery. All of us still require the revealing, reconciling, and atoning work of Christ, which alone can penetrate to the very core of our natures, enslaved to self, to pride, and captive of the power of sin and the threat of death. But through miracles of our Lord's carnation, his entering into our human condition and putting on our fallen natures, He broke our chains and ransomed us out of death, regenerating human nature itself that we might share in what he accomplished for us. Because of Christ's great atoning sacrifice, we have now, as Charles Wesley writes, been given our liberty, safe to dwell in Christ and ransomed from our sin, free to return home. We are free in him, our creator and redeemer. As we celebrate Black History Month in our GCI congregations, I pray we can all join together in thanksgiving for the Emancipation Proclamation and also together join in Christ's continuing ministry to restore to every human being their true humanity, founded and fulfilled in the person and atoning work of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. I'm Joseph Tkach, speaking of life. <music>